Oh, those are dying up on me. Why do you think that I would be mad at you? You haven't done anything rude, crude, or vengeful lately, have you? Yes. Haven't created any embarrassing situations, maybe? Sure I have. Yes. And I'm sorry for it. Not yet. Why, Robert Scorpio. Oh, come on, be serious, will I'm you? I'm trying. I'm trying not to be serious. I just don't want to say anything that I might be sorry for. Well, look, I realize I've got a bit of a problem with Cheryl, and I'm going to deal with it and get over it. Right? Yeah, yeah, you sure do. Well, that was really a very interesting situation there last night. Well, I didn't sleep too well. What about you? Oh, me? Oh, I slept beautifully. Don't lie. You hate it when that kind of thing happens. I am beginning to get used to this. Look, what we have together is much more important than what I had with an ex-girlfriend. No, I don't want anything to mess that up. I sure hope you mean that, Robert. Look, if I have to, I'll go over and uh, prostrate myself in front of this woman. Uh -huh. that, that, I mean... Me. Yes. You mean that? I mean that. Well, don't do it for me. If you're going to do it, do it for yourself. Otherwise, just save your breath. M-E-N-T. Oh, bless me. That's right. Now, spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh, is this the men's locker room here? Whatever happened to privacy in the bathroom, Lewis? Hey, come on. Angel let me up. You left the door open, and uh, I've got the SEC report on Cheryl Stansbury you wanted. Hmm. Quick work. Yeah, I put a rush on it. Everything you ever wanted to know about Meditech business is in there. Well, it really has very little to do with me, but... You can take it over to Ned Ashton at EOQ. Okay, will do. You know, if you combed your hair back a do little more... Do it now, this... Lewis, please. <laughs> Would you please put down that costume and pay attention, please? Uh-uh. Okay. Then spell rough. R-U-F-F. Wrong. 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 How did you spell tough? T-U-F-F. No, you didn't. You spelled it T-O-U-G-H, right? I never said that. Yes, That's crazy. That's the way the word is spelled. Who says? The book I said. The book. Here, look. See? It's still crazy. You're never going to pass that test today. Do you realize that? Sure, I'm. Um, mm. I'm smart. Mm. What's that? It's armor. Leave it alone. No, no, don't touch. Don't touch. Yep, you know, people used to wear this stuff in the olden days. They don't have to wear it anymore. Now, listen, you just take your books, you go upstairs, and you learn these words, okay? Do I have to? Do you ever want to go to the movies again? Have a good time? Have fun? Have ice cream sodas with me? Yeah, well, I don't go out with boys who cannot spell. So go. Up. Go. Mm. Yeah. Every time she talks to the boss, she always gets mad at me. How come? I is heard it? that. Get going. Go ahead, show her you can do it. Mm. He's right. I shouldn't take it out on the little guy. You know, Catherine, you and Robert are going through a phase. <laughs> We've been going through a lot of phases lately. Yeah, but then you'll kiss and make up and you'll be more in love than ever. You mark my words. I don't know. There are times, Mary, there are times when I just don't even think I know who the man is. I mean, before this whole Cheryl business, I never dreamt that he had this vindictive streak in him. Oh, now that's going a little far. No, Kathy. no, it's true. No, it's not true. You're just angry and you're, you're exaggerating no, everything. No, I knew he could be stubborn. He could be opinionated. I always knew that. I always knew how to handle that. It was childish, but it was cute. This, this is not cute. Well, at the risk of repeating myself, you don't realize that he and Cheryl have had a past together. Yeah, well, I mean, just how bad could this past have been? Well, it could have been very bad. I mean, you don't know Cheryl, but Robert certainly does. Well, what about the way that he behaved last night? I mean, I forget, forget the word polite. We are talking downright rude here. He might have gone a little overboard. <laughs> a little. Uh, did you talk to him about it? Well, of course I talked to him. I, I don't spend all of my time hanging up on him. Well, sure. Catherine, let's get down to the bottom line here. Do you still love him? Well, oh, of course. I love him. I wouldn't be this upset. 
upset if I didn't love him. Ah, then I rest my case. Of course, you're talking to an eternal optimist here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that he and Cheryl were very close ones, too. I know that. I just would hate to think that he would treat me someday the way he's treating her. Oh, he never would. Darling, this is just a little spat. Get that into your head. Well, I know exactly what is coming next. There's going to be flowers, you wait and see, and probably champagne. And then he's going to come in here all irresistible, and he's going to turn on the charm, and he's going to pull out all the stops, and he's going to make me fall for him, because I always do. I always do. Does that sound like love to you? It doesn't to me. It do, it's, or is that a fight to the finish? Uh, it sounds like love to me. Well, love shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have to feel like I'm preparing for battle every time, every time I know I'm going to see him. Oh. Now who's going overboard? <laughs> I guess I am. Well, Lucas, the family is definitely moving ahead. I understand that you've got yourself a new cousin, huh? Yes, we call her Cousin X because they haven't named her yet. Oh, come oh. on. It's an important thing. It's worth taking some time. <laughs> well, I was hoping to have your mum a nice welcome home present. Unfortunately, that's not to be. Cool. What am I missing out on? Clayton's head. You want to fill me in quick? Well, Robert's tracked down the doctor that he thinks might have been involved with Clayton. I handed him a spiel about wanting to adopt a child. And then I offered him $50,000, which is twice the going rate. Anyway, I was on my way to Pennsylvania with the money. What happened? He backed out. So? Said that he'd, uh, he didn't deal in black market children. Because somebody had gotten to him, obviously. Clayton, obviously. Probably. But anyway, the game's not over yet. This guy's... this guy's much too greedy. How'd you like to give me his name and address? The doctor? Yeah. Why? Well, a poor, desperate woman work on him. No way. No, sorry, I agree. You're not an agent, love. Well, there's absolutely no reason why I couldn't be. <clears throat> you trying to subtly tell me that I'm not up to the job? Well, of course I know you can handle it. So just let the pros do it. You just got home. You've got a lot of work to do here. And I'm not going to get my work done sitting around here. You know, Lucas, you're one of the more stimulating people in this town. I should Sorry, Luke. Yeah. You could have given... <laughs> oh, oh. Listen, darling, you, uh, you keep a positive outlook, all right? Thanks, brother. Keep us posted. We'll walk you out. Thank you. Baby weighed in at six pounds for us. Oh, Brad, I bet this is one beautiful baby. I mean, Frisco and Felicia aren't exactly chopped liver. Hey, that's an old Chinese expression. No wonder where it came from. Oh, hi, Kamish. Hey, I'm just reading about this brand new baby. Yep. Maybe Frisco will calm down a little bit now. <laughs> oh, I think his trouble's just beginning. Hey, bud, I gotta warn you, she's on a real downer. Yeah, I heard the full story. Oh, yeah, poor Robin, she's really in for it now. Don't start sympathizing with her. Me? Well, I don't want to be the only ogre around okay, here. Okay, 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 then we'll share it equally. I need your help, Robert. I know. That's why I'm here. Hey, look, I agree with you. She says nothing happened. I believe her. No. Something happened. She lied. She feels terrible about it, you know. Sure she does. But look, you know, our daughter's a decent person with a good set of values. We ought to thank her so lucky for that. I agree. But still, there was a, an incident. There'll be more. She's growing up. You went through it? I think I went through it. Yeah, but it was easier for us because it was somebody else's problem. Call it payback time for Bob and Anna. Oh, uh, I mean, I want her to have a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. I want her to have a great teenage, you mm -hmm. know. I want her to enjoy being mm -hmm. with boys and girls mm -hmm. and everything. But I just wish she'd just slow the whole mm -hmm. process down, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. that's not unreasonable, is it? No, have you said this to her? She hates us. Oh, Don't you realize that? <laughs> probably just a little bit. But that isn't going to last for long. We're going to have to be here for it. It's a crucial time right now. Hey, listen, there's a family that stays together. There's a family that stays together. You think a teenager will understand that? Probably not. <laughs> 